Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video. Today we're going to be making Starbucks cupcakes, both for summer and winter time. It's pretty simple. We're going to be first starting with the recipe itself. For the cupcakes, I'm going to be using one plus one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. Now I used um, regular salt because I didn't have sea salt, but you know, feel free to use that one. One stick of unsalted butter, which is softened. Then moving on, we're going to be using one cup plus two tablespoons of light brown sugar. We're going to be needing two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, and try to work with a good quality vanilla because it does make a difference. I'm going to be using half a cup plus two tablespoons of buttermilk. At the beginning, I thought it was like butter and milk, but no, it's not. This cupcake recipe and the buttermilk, I got it from the internet, so I'm just going to link below where I got it from, but just so you know. To make the cupcakes, we're gonna first cream together the butter and the brown sugar on a medium-high speed until everything is just incorporated. But then I'm just going to add uh, my eggs one at a time. Then it goes the vanilla in and I'm just going to mix it. Then in another bowl, which I'm using this one, I'm going to mix together the flour, the baking powder and the salt, which is kind of like the dry ingredients. I'm just going to set that aside. So now it's time to work on butter itself. Okay, to the combination of butter and sugar I have, I'm going to be adding my flour and my buttermilk in like three batches. So first I'm going to be adding the flour and then the buttercream. Then I'm just going to be adding the second part left and then I'm just going to beat until everything is just incorporated and then finally I'm just going to add the leftover flour and the buttermilk. And then mix that until everything is just incorporated. You don't want to over mix it because then your cupcake is not going to be fluffy. It's going to be uh, rather dense and we don't want that. We're going to be filling those cupcake liners with uh, butter and that goes to the oven for about 25 minutes at 325. That's it as far as for the recipe goes. Now this recipe gives you around 12 cupcakes but sometimes I just don't need 12 cupcakes. Sometimes I just need five or just a few of them. So this is what I do with the leftovers. I just place them inside of Ziploc bags, but I kind of divide them into as many cupcakes as I want. So I just add five ice cream scoops per, you know, Ziploc bag and then just close it and that goes to the fridge for about two weeks. So now we're going to be moving on to the decoration of these cupcakes. First, I printed out a few um, Starbucks coffee like logos then I'm just going to cut each logo then as far as for the summer cupcake goes I happened to go to Starbucks the other day so I just saved a few of these straws so I'm just going to cut uh, one third per cupcake of that straw cut them as long as you want to you know to seam I'm going to just be using one piece of tape and I'm just going to tape my logo onto my cupcake wrapper. Then I'm going to add my frosting. I'm using cream cheese frosting for this and the one that I posted last week. So uh, if you want to check it out, it's on my channel already. But I'm going to be using a 2D tip for this. Once I have done that, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle or just drizzle some caramel. It's a star bot. I didn't make it from scratch. And then I'm just going to place my straw, the one that I just cut it. And this is it for like the summer Starbucks cupcake. If you love Starbucks drinks in the winter time because of the red cap, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to be using this DIY cupcake wrapper that I do have a tutorial on already on my channel. It's super easy because you can customize any paper into cupcake wrappers all year round. But I'm going to be using this wrap simulating the winter Starbucks drink. And to that, I'm going to just be adding my logo with some tape. Then I'm going to be placing the cupcake wrapper onto the cupcake itself and then I'm going to just finish the whole thing with some frosting. I didn't add anything on the top of this because I don't really know why. I guess I should have added some cinnamon, for instance, if you want to go and, you know, add that. I bet it's going to taste good as well. 
Flavor wise, these are really, really good. I really recommend them. The cream cheese frosting really goes with the flavor of the cupcake itself. So just give it a try for both uh, summer and winter. You don't have to wait until summer to try the summer idea. This is just um, an idea that I want to share. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, share them. And yeah, I got you covered for both summer and winter time. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you gave it a try and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.